Generic greetings, and that dog has the longest lead in the... Oh, oh, disappeared. Oh, no, there we go. We have a dog with a very, very, very long lead. I'm hoping it's not one of those ones that winds back into a spool, because that dog is going to go through about three walls and come out the other end and probably uh, smack... Uh... <laughs> the dog handler um, in the back of the head. Also, he really needs a wee. He really, really does <laughs> need to use the toilet there. If he's <laughs> Look at the state of that. Ah, uh, don't change prison architect. Anyway, in the previous episode, we managed to put in most of the walls and, well, actually, yes, most of the walls and most of the doors in this area here, which is going to become our uh, legendary slash suit max area, plus the... Uh, Plus the bit on the left, which is going to be the death row. In this episode, I really want to get uh, these rooms completerated. So let's just crack on straight ahead with that. So we need to go over to a canteen. So I'm just going to designate all the rooms first. So uh, clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy, no harm, no foul. And we also need some security, which can go in the bottom there. Obviously, security is a little bit larger than the other stuff, but that's not a big problem. Parole will go in there as well. Uh, this place doesn't have visitation. It's not going to have it. Um, some people have uh, requested that we put it in. Now, I'm not too sure whether we do that or not. If we did do that, it would be a fairly easy task. All we would do is make this visitation here. However, I don't think that the Supermax really should have that. I think it should be, um, as a lot of people have suggested, and have it on a, not a permanent lockdown, but the permanent regime. So instead of having punishments, you change the regime to um, from Supermax. You change it just to do a full-on uh, lock-up uh, night and day. So that's a possibility. Possibility, but we'll have to see how we get on with that one. But th with this one, we're not going to have any. We're not going to have anything uh, when it comes to like visitation or anything like that. So just the infirmary, clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy, get all that sorted. Uh, we want a common room. It's probably easier to uh, type it in, although when you spell it wrong, it's uh, not that easy. We have a couple of rooms here, which will be the laundry. And uh, I think that was going to be cleaning code, but again, I'm not too sure whether we're going to have that because this might be on permanent lockdown, so we'll see. And then finally, a yard and such. I think permanent lockdown is probably not the way to go, but what we'll do is have it so maybe an hour of yard time, an hour of shower time, and then the rest of it lockdown. And that means, um, oh no, but there will need to be eat, so we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We want them limited in their exposure, so... We'll have to see what happens there. Um, we'll have to try it out. Because if you have a permanent lockdown, I don't think they get fed because... Well, sorry, permanent lockdown they do because that's a punishment type. However, in the regime, if it's permanent uh, lockup, then they won't get fed. So mm, we'll have to see how that one... Uh See how that one fares out, because we've never tried it. We've, al we've always tried it with permanent punishments or alter the regime slightly, but nothing... Um, like that. Anyway, so let's just put all these rooms in, so that should be... a about right and let's work on the kitchen so we need to go over to the uh, objects tab and we can see we've got some cookers and things like that now i'm going to build one two three four cookers there and then fridges will go um i can actually put the i think the sink in first so sinks are going to go one two three and then the fridge is one two uh, one, two, three should be sufficient. And I'm going to leave this open because if we do end up changing this, then that's the area where we can put the the visitation in. Okay, so we'll crack that on to max speed. Um, we are still receiving some intake there. I just want to triple check here, make sure we are filter capacity. Yes, that is correct. Death Rising Sea is closed. Um, receiving decent money from intake and showers and such like that. Um, that's not open for some reason, even though it's got is an automatic door opener. It does have a door server on it, and it is is wired. You can see the little circle there to, to show that that is uh, that is connected. Oh, hang on, it is not connected. It isn't connected. Ooh, my mistake. So I thought that was connected. So which one is it? It's the one that lags. Well, that's all of them. So perhaps not. Um, I've actually missed them all. No, I haven't. One, and two. There we go. That's fine. And we'll turn lag mode off. Right, so everybody should be in their cells. Let's do a shakedown. <laughs> it's dark. Time to do a shakedown. Uh, go back over to objects, and we want to put in, like, a desk in... Um, probably a desk in here. We'll have a chair behind that there. We'll have a couple more in. Doesn't really matter. Just a couple of filing cabinets there. Maybe happy filing cabinets. Let's go full Bob Ross. Just happy little trees. And there we go. Right. 
And now we need to do the canteen. Canteen, bit more difficult because we have to... Oh, is that lagged out? Yeah, that's... Well, it's glitched out. So we now have the uh, that permanently showing, which is not good. Uh, I'll have to restart that later on. Okay, so we're going for a 3 by 4 Four, so that's going to be the size of things. Uh, let's just see where we're going to have our our serving tables. Um, so we could have could have them in there because I believe they are five long. Let me just double check. I always have to double check, but I believe it's five. It is five long, yes. So we could have uh, five, five, five. If we really wanted to, or we could just run them from there. We have 20, that's four serving tables. Don't need four serving tables, only need a couple. Um, sadly, can't put them in that way. Actually, what we could do is put one along there and one along there. And that should be sufficient, but then the entrance here is going to be a little bit dodgy. So I think just along there would be sufficient. And the one's calling. Identities of a number of witnesses in federal prosecution case have been leaked. Some of them are inmates in our prison. Have they been taken out? <laughs> oh, God. It's been taken out on them, but we need them alive. You need to identify the prisoners and keep them in place until... That's a shotgun. Uh, until the reading stops. So what the hell's happened here? So, um... Fearless gang members just kicked right off, and I do not know why. Let's just go over to intelligence and to informants, and we're going to have a look around and see... Ah, oh, there we go. There's a federal witness there. Um, I don't know how many... Oh, there's a federal witness and a gang member as well. So I don't know how many federal witnesses we're going to have. So in terms of the law risk, we can see that there is no federal witnesses. Witness I? Witness sizes. Witnesses. And we have a federal witness here. That is uh, Liam Couter. And that are a federal witness. That's fine. So their, um, their rating is now gone to protected custody. We have a total of 15. And we can only put <laughs> another four in. So um, any gang member we're not going to put in. We're not having gang members down the bottom. Um, anyone else we will have to change over. Uh, gang member, federal witness, not bothering with. Um, gang member, gang member, gang member, gang member, that's all fine. Federal witness there, Tom Nowell. Protective custody, not a gang member, you see. Gang member, federal witness. Gang, ah! Oh. Yeah, gang member, expected. And that seems to be about right there. So we're up to 16. Um, 17. eighteen, And... That might be about it. Right, let's unpause it and see how many actually make it out here. I'm going to stop the search there because we've got enough on our hands. So having witnesses seven. Um, so it means that we've moved the ones over but what I'm going to have to do is I think anyone that we can't move over federal witness wise we give them a permanent lock up. Punish lockdown permanent. There's a federal witness. Lockdown permanent. And is that it? Let's see what happens there. There's some kicking off around here. Been trying to break out. So I'm just checking. Fell, oh, there's a federal witness as well. Can't click on them. Just check it is Dennington, yes. And we can have one more in protective custody. Strong and volatile, not entirely sure I want them in uh, in and around here, but needs must. So you can see there's a lot of them being assigned to federal as the federal witnesses, a lot of them have been assigned to the protective custody. Have received some more people in here, and oh, we've got a snitch and a gang member turned up as well, so that's not going to be 
decent. Um, in and around here, we can see a lot of our traits, and... A cursory glance shows me that I think the rest are permanent. If I've missed one, I've missed one. Okay, fine. So, um, there's that there. We've got early release, a lot of money there. That's pretty good. In terms of our grants uh, and the loan, that's all paid off. So, that's actually pretty good. That's excellent. Okay, so... Uh, kitchen and canteen, we'll go back to our planning. So we were going to have some objects, and I think we'll have a row of phone booths there. No, we won't. That's far too many. Um, perhaps a row up there and along. I don't really know. It depends on the size of these. Four by threes, like that. That is for the size of for the size of prison, more than enough. Fa it's, it's just more than enough. So I think what I'll do is get rid of the central bit. Um, I'll actually move them further down. One, two, one, two, and then we'll have the phone booths in the middle. Yep, that's all right with me. So tables, one, two, three, four. Obviously, we do need to do things like lighting and all sorts, but we'll get there. Serving tables, one, two, three is more than sufficient, really. Phone booths as well. That's not a phone booth, that's a camera. It is communication, just one way and to one person only. Anyway, so... That should be about right. Let's just double check on the intelligence here. Back to gangs. I just want to check as well. Have we got any gang members elsewhere? We do not. That's fine. Back to informants. And again, doing a cursory look here. And I can't see anyone there. Um, got some gang members coming in. Extremely tough. Unknown traits there. And obviously, some fe a couple of federal witnesses... Locked up there. And there's also a snitch in the round as well, but there's nothing much we can do about that. Right, okay, so this room is complaining that it is not uh, behind doors, and that is correct, so I will resolve that now. I'll also, while I'm at the shower, finish that as well. This shower is too big. Where it's too big, point this out when we built it, but uh, just to reiterate and all of that. Parole should be a simple room. It should be a visitor table, uh, which can't go the right way, so we'll just put it there. Um, this is the first first block for a long time that we've actually built manually the rest of it's just been <laughs> it's just been cloned so you know we'll have to uh, follow that through in a bit so the kitchen and canteen uh, they require some power that should power that up water pipe should be sufficient in there and that'll be alright. Obviously, CCTV needs, needs to get placed in here and door openers. And it's a fairly big job. It's going to be another several episodes before we... Um, I don't know about uh, several episodes before we get people. But certainly a few episodes before we uh, have this built. We need to put flooring in as well. And we do have more than enough for flooring. So I will go ahead and, um, and place that. So let's go ahead and put the flooring in. So flooring will go along like so, along like so. It's um, not a difficult task to put all this flooring in. I might go ahead and uh, place it in most areas just to get it done, you see. Um, obviously, there's a lot of areas that will require things like white tiles. So I'll place the white tiles in there, white tiles in here, and white tiles in there. And I think the concrete tile needs to be placed there. Yes, it does. And then the common room has mosaic floor. There we go. Uh, the laundry and parole, they do not. Parole is a wooden floor. Infirmary is, I believe, white tile. It is white tile. Let's just double check in there. Laundry is the same. And we'll assume that the next one's going to be a cleaning cupboard. But let's do that. We have got a bit of kickoff here. Um, and that's because um, a leader has been punished once again. Is it leader? Yes, leader being punished. They are being punished. So that is a bit of an issue. More kickoff over there. I don't know who that is. Tom Speed. No reputation, so I don't know why they're booting off. I think it's just general, general annoyance. Even the low-risk prisoners, for whatever reason, think it's really, really bad that the next prison over has a leader being punished. Oh, two prisons over they're being punished that they have never met. So, you know. <laughs> but I don't think the game was meant to have uh, that sort of thing in here. <laughs> was it like two separate, uh, three separate prisons plus the one we've got up here? Completely sealed off. It just applies a global bonus. So, anyway, uh, we've managed to get most of these placed. Obviously, workers are um, 
bit short there. Uh, in terms of our guards, I'm going to hire one, two, three, four more guards. That's fine. Uh, doctors, I'm going to hire one, two, three more. Now, that's overstaffing them, certainly, but I'm sick of them, people go, like disappearing and coming back and then, you know, oh, look, some, suddenly someone's died because, you know, two of the doctors were on breaks at any one time, which was really annoying. So we do have now a lot of protective custody, and the difference now is that most of these protective custody prisoners were uh, low or medium risk that were snitches. However, we've just put some in that were medium and high risk that have probably quite long sentences. Let's see if we can um, find those. Um, actually, it'll be easy to find because we can go over to intelligence informants and then we can check so here we are paul gulliford prison number 1504733 sentenced to 100 years for violent disorder even though it blatantly says violent disorder two years am i missing something robbery he served 10 years perjury served five years and then violent disorder two years because of plea guilty He's sentenced to a hundred years. So, essentially, life imprisonment for violent disorder, even though it says two years. Glitched! And it does actually say that, look, serve 0.1 years of a hundred years. Bug is bug. Uh, to be fair, it is a federal witness, so that might have caused an issue there. It might have... It might have... Might have applied... That This might have been the original one. And then it's applied them extra years on top because of the federal witness thing. That might change later on. But anyway, a hundred years, you can see that that person is... Not getting out a hundred years. <laughs> that's that's a, that's quite a number of years, aren't it? <laughs> Good grief. So we'll lock a lot of these doors open. Uh, we'll actually place some doors on uh, these areas here as well. Most of these, as I've mentioned before, will be locked open. So not too much of a problem. Uh, looks like we've detected a tunnel, and it is in... Ah! Oh, is it same again? Christopher Rogers. No, I don't think it is. But it's the same area. It's the same rough area. It's protective custody. Where is... Oh! And there's the... Yeah, there's the inevitable escape attempt from... Um, people trying to run out from the dormitory. It's a common occurrence. We don't really blink an eye these days. We just assume that's going to happen. There we go. So I'm hopefully going to finish this shakedown. So we're still on filter capacity. Uh, we're not actually getting rid of anybody. We haven't got rid of anybody. Uh... So Minsec. Oh, there we go. Ah, I was wondering why. Yeah, um, it wasn't allowing any Minsec in. Because technically it was full. And technically is the best kind of right by all accounts. Um, what had happened is the escape attempt failed because we found the tunnel. But because there was a hole in the floor, this wasn't a legitimate room. Which means that even though it did say there, minimum security 98, it said uh, capacity about 60 odds. So, But now we know it's, uh, we're going to get them. All right, that should be fine then. That should be totally fine. So, uh, these don't have any rooms. I'm going to change this over to super max, like so... And actually, I don't know why cause that's going to be. Why is there a room there of all places? Right, that should be about right. Security should be access only as well, to be fair, on the others, but I'm not going to bother with it. Right, there we go. Okay. What I'm going to do as well is place a large jail door there and there. I want to uh, just separate that so I can set that to. Set that to clean that up because it's been leaking for a while um is that person or oh, found tools lockdown he was actually having a shower <laughs> while he had his cuffs on well, fair point didn't say said he had to stay there didn't say he couldn't take a shower i guess and there's another death uh where's that at um gang member snitch duncan jerem we expected that we expected that and indeed if we we're honest with each other just sort of accepted that it was going to happen. I went, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Shows what state the prison sort of got in it, really, doesn't it? 
So more intake, we'll double check informants there. We have X-Law Enforcement, that's a problem. And yeah, that is a problem. Oh no, Protective Custody is now... Uh, is now down to 17, so we can change that straight away to Protective Custody. In terms of gang members, got a, a gang member there. You can see that they are actually a red gang member, Duncan Doyle. So we're going to move them up to maximum security. All the maximum security ones, or sorry, rather, all gang members are maximum security. That's what we've just assigned to them. So the bottom two prisons are gang free. Uh, the top one is not, and the very, very top one is, um, well, going to change at some point. So the canteen's in there. Let's just finish off the common room. So, I mean, we're going to do a rough sort of follow-up of what we've done with the other stuff. So couple of uh, pool tables in there we want probably a television put a television in there and then one two three um, we will put some other bits in so if we go down to prayer mat we're gonna put some prayer mats at the back there and we don't need to put weight benches in because weight benches are going to be over here so um, weight benches and weight benches will go Along like so. And that should, should be that sorted, really. So that's fine, that's fine. Infirmary, might as well finish that off. Shouldn't be much more than that. Uh, not going to bother with this yet. Laundry. Yeah, we have to put laundry in, sadly. Can't rotate the laundry machines, though, so we're just going to have to put them there. Hopefully we'll be alright with that one. Uh, I believe you need a table in there. Your laundry machine, laundry basket, hanging board. I've always thought you needed a table in it. I've put them in by default just because it tends to be like where you need... Um... Yeah, I always thought you needed one. I'm going to get rid of it because maybe you don't. Right. It's like you get when you get new... Um... Oh yeah, look, see, the, the, stacks, the stacks do arrive. It says you don't need one, but... Clearly, it's it's being used, so I am gonna I am gonna put a table in. Um, actually, I think I'll put it in there. That should be fine. Laundry baskets, remember, they get shifted around, so it's really matter. And the laundry, the iron boards are weird. If you place them in one da like with the edge to a wall, sometimes they just don't work. So I try to just put them in the middle. Although that they are working there, so we could go ahead and actually cancel all this then. Cancel all that. Uh, one, two, three. Then the table can go there, and then the laundry baskets. It matters not. There we go. The laundry baskets get shifted around all over the place anyway. And we're going to finish the shakedown because it's nearly three o'clock <laughs> next <laughs> next day, and it's uh, obviously not working out. We got an OD there, but it looks like it's been resolved. That is fine. Uh, it's a bit dirty in places, so let's uh, check out our janitorial uh, system. It's not good enough. So we're going to hire a couple more janitors, a couple more. Uh, gardeners as well. We've got the money to do it. I mean, 12 grand daily cash flow is completely fine. Obviously, we have paid off all of our all of our loans. We've still got a couple of grants that we'll probably never complete. Uh, 10 superior beds is still not in there. And the prison is over three quarters of a million, so not too bad at all. Right, okay, so I think we've um, I think we've cracked on okay there. So we've got the majority of all of these auxiliary bits done. Next episode, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll um, design and build most of this here. So this is going to be all of the cells. And then we need to think about maybe the stuff on the left, but that's going to be a, a futurist problem. I'm actually tempted to uh, prioritize, prioritize this. But as you can see from there, no death row. Prioritise death row? Would it really matter? Because we're not going to get death row because we don't really have any intake. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, so, good progress. Looking forward to the next episode where we can build, at minimum, uh, these cells here. So let's just see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.